डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आम्बेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद इन द चैतन्य स्टूडियो ऑफ डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आम्बेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद इन द वेड वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर द कोर्स ऑफ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन डिप्लोमा इन बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन द सब्जेक्ट कॉल द अकाउंटिंग फॉर द मैनेजर्स ब्लॉक वन यूनिट वन द बेजिक्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग in a previous session we defined the definition and origin and the growth and the need of function of accounting and the different uses of accounting over there so now let's begin our session or we can say the continue our session with respect to them and now we we'll discuss discuss the next next topic that bookkeeping system what is the bookkeeping so this the flow chart define in a easy manner to defining the bookkeeping my dear friends first is that entry of accounts receivable and payable you have to make an entry of that account for what whatever the receivables are there and what are the payables are there that means what the cash comes out comes in and what are the cash goes out then the general ledger entries over there then the accounting document management over there then the debit or credit of accounting statements over there then the tax claim reported and it maintain the financial reports in a easy manner so ultimately i can say that the bookkeeping system system is nothing but to evaluate it in a easy manner to day to day transactions also the process of recording the financial transaction in the books of accounts is called as what my dear friends the bookkeeping and this transactions include the sales purchase income payment by the by making by the individual or by an organization whatever so when the transaction is important when the when the financial transaction recording in a particular books of account at that point of time you can say that this is which system that is nothing but your bookkeeping then my dear friend bookkeeping should not be confused with the accounting accounting is the process of what my dear friend recording classifying analyze summarize and interpreting that financial transaction and communicate with the result thereof to the person interested in such information then my dear friends the bookkeeping is just recording the transaction this is not defining the all aspects of accounting it is just recording what my dear friends your transaction into the books bookkeeping is the base of accounting is the primary or we can say the preliminary step of defining the accounting then the accountant analyze the books of the account and prepare the reports from financial transaction recorded by the bookkeeper this is way why the accounting are treated and there are the two common bookkeeping system used by the business organization that single entry bookkeeping system and second is double entry bookkeeping system the single entry bookkeeping system uses only that is the income and expense accounts and recorded primarily primarily the revenue and expense journals the single bookkeeping system is adequate for the small business units and while defining the double entry bookkeeping system it requires the recording of each transaction twice and using the rule of that debit and credit also next there are the, there are the two main objectives of bookkeeping is that to have the permanent record of each transaction of the business and to show its a financial effect to the business then my dear friends the to ascertain the combined effect 
of all transaction made during and the accounting period upon the financial position of a business as a whole so ultimately these are the two objectives of what my dear friends bookkeeping then accounting mechanics the double entry bookkeeping system or we can say the double entry system the accountancy continues the science of registering categorizing as well as generalizing the transaction commonly a business enterprise has many activities every day in a course of the accounting duration unless the transaction are analyzed as well as uh, or we can say the transcribed uh, independently also and it is not feasible to check to the impact of each activity in a uh, uh, in, uh, in in a business for the two basic statements thus the transaction may be recorded in a various fashions however the double entry system has been founded to be the most appropriate or suitable for this purpose under this system this is what my dear friends that is a double entry system each and every transaction is split up into the two aspects and the both these aspects of recorded without any exceptions whatsoever there and any change in a concern whenever there there is an any action there must be an opposite and equal reactions over there and thus if the furniture is purchased with cash the cash is depend as a, against the furniture so which in which increases and if however the furniture is purchased on a credit that the furniture increases as against increases in the liability so each transaction is recorded in a documents providing all required information of the transaction and the all transaction have the two effects over there so that's why we can say that this is what my dear friend double entry system the common documents that are generally used that is a payment voucher money received journal vouchers so the payment voucher it is usually on the printed standard form uh, is the record of that your payment whatever the payment are done in your business there is a, a recording of that payment voucher when the payment is made for the expense generally a bill is prepared to record full particular of the claim by the person or organization to receiving the payment and from a bill the accounting department prepare a voucher for the each payment to be made this is what my dear friend ultimately it is defined that clear and systematic record system then money receipt it is a document which is issued against cash or check receipts it may also be on the printed standard form and this document shows that the certain sum of money was received from a person or organization with the purpose of which the money was received so ultimately it has to be maintained the money receipt also when you are dealt with that the, the the payment voucher the money received then it ultimately create to the what my dear friend in a journal voucher it is used to record the residual transaction and the internal transaction or the transaction not involving in a cash payment or any cash receipt is recorded in which manner my dear friends in a journal vouchers so this three voucher or we can say this are the common documents which can be the generally used under what my system in which system my dear friend that double entry system over there there is an payment voucher money receipt and second is my dear friend journal vouchers then defining the types of account the types of account are also important in nature my dear friends according to the call her an accounts is a record of transactions of a person firm things an item of an expense or item of an income there are the various types of account to be the grouped as under the first account is a personal account 
द पर्सनल अकाउंट इज इंक्लूड द अकाउंट ऑफ अ पर्सन विथ होम द बिजनेस डील्स दिस अकाउंट शोज द ट्रांजेक्शन विद द कस्टमर सप्लायर मनी लेंडर बैंक एटसेट्रा दिस ऑल आर क्रिएटेड और वी कैन से दैट दिस ऑल आर दर्सनल अकाउंट माई डियर फ्रेंड and the main purpose of preparing personal accounts is to ascertain the balances dues to or due from the person or organization so ultimately we can say that this is what my dear friend the personal accounts second is the real account the accountants or we can say the accounts of each property or asset acquired by the firm named it is called a real account And the real account may be the following type. That is, the first is tangible real account, then the intangible real accounts. If we are talking about the tangible real accounts, and these accounts relate to such things which can be the touched, felt, measured, etc. Just like in you know, a land and building, plant and machinery, uh, furniture and inventories. These all are my dear friends. What tangible real accounts? then intangible the accounts represent such things which can not be touched which cannot be filled which cannot be by the measured and of course and this can be the measured in the terms of money i'm not talking about the physical measurement i'm talking about the measurement in the money the transaction of money so ultimately what my dear friend this is justified as a intangible real accounts such as a goodwill patent copyright etc these all are the what my dear friends intangible real accounts over there then my dear friends third account the very important account that is a nominal account and these are the accounts of the income expense gains and losses that defining what are their income what are their expense what are their gains what are their losses over there and the business has to incur a certain expenses to earn a certain income or to meet the requirement of a certain business transaction which is called as my dear friend the nominal account for example the accounts of rent wages salary paid telephone expenses the sales purchases these all are my dear friends nothing but what these are the nominal accounts and after defining this types of account you have to evaluate yourself to defining or classify these accounts in a particular manner my dear friends the first account is capital account the capital account is the thing but my dear friends personal account second is my dear friend drawing account is also the personal account then goodwill here i define that what my dear friends that is a real account if we talking about in a real account in a specified manner then it is a intangible real account then bank account is a personal account then rent paid account is a nominal account then the interest is a nominal account then the building building is tangible real account then account a and company account that is also the personal account then the salary and purchase account these are the nominal account then sale account is also the nominal then outstanding wages is a personal then the prepaid salary is also the personal account so these are the my dear friends to defining the classification of account according to the the personal account real account and nominal account in real account there are another two aspects are there or two accounts are there that is a tangible real and intangible real accounts now move forward forward to the rules for the debit and credit after defining this accounts the rules are very important to defining it how we can record it in a journal so the rules of debit and credit is important if we defining the debit and credit rules into this three aspects that is the three accounts known as a personal nominal and real account so these are the rules of debit and credit my dear friends if we talking about the personal account that all persons with who the business are deal this is called as what my dear friend personal account so debit the receiver and credit the giver there is a simple golden rule debit the receiver credit the giver in which account my dear friends in a personal account then we talk about the real account 
what the real account related to what my dear friend tangible and intangible things related to the assets and liability so the debit what comes in credit what goes out so this is the golden rule of the real account then in a nominal account my dear friend nominal account include what income expenses losses and gains so debit all expenses and losses and credit what my dear friend all income and gains so these three are the golden rule of the account my dear friends which three accounts personal real and nominal are you clear with it yes or no again i am discussing in, in a lucid manner that kindly repeat it with me what are the personal accounts rules my dear friends debit the receiver credit the giver then in real account debit what comes in credit what goes out in nominal my dear friends debit all expenses in and losses and credit all income and gains from the double entry principle my dear friends the working rules of debit and credit may be formed and the working rules are in a different for three types of accounts it may be the point out that the transaction of the accounts uh, may fall in the one group or in the two groups or in the rules of the each account shall apply accordingly so these are three rules that is a personal real and nominal accounts the personal again i am repeating debit the receiver credit the giver then in real debit what comes in credit was goes out and in nominal debit all expenses and losses and credit all income and gains then defining basics of accounting my dear friends there are the three basics approaches to accounting for recognizing revenue and expenses while preparing financial statement we need an approach which can measure the systematically the result of working operation and to know the financial position at a regular intervals so my dear friends you can say that sir what are the three basics or we can say the basis of the accounting so first base is that the cash base second is the mer uh, the mercantile base or accrual base and last is hybrid base or mixed base so this three basics or we can say the bases are available for the accounting first is cash basis second is accrual basis or we can say the mercantile basis and third is my dear friend hybrid basis or a mixed basis now move forward to the first that is a cash basis under the cash basis of accounting the revenues or expenses are recognized only when there are received or paid in a cash the credit transaction do not find a place under the cash basis of accounting however there are no distinction or we can say the no difference is made between the item of current year or last year or for the next year if the total or we can say the totally ignore the accounting period another drawback of this basis is that the totally ignore the expense incurred but not paid and also income already generated but not received so this is the one of the important base of what my dear friend of accounting that the cash base while you have to evaluate your cash in appropriate manner and at that point of time the generation of revenue and the paid of the expenses are also the recognized and received in the paid in a cash also so you so, so you have to define it in that manner which can be the easily defining the cash base because the revenue or expenses are recognized only when these are received or paid in a cash
let's move to the another base that is that is a mercantile base or accrual base this system strictly follows the accounting period concept revenue recognition and matching concept or a realization concepts it takes into the accounts of the revenue for the whole accounting period say for example 12 months whether received or not and likewise all expenses associated with the generation of revenue are matched against the revenue earned during the same accounting period so this accounting system takes into an account all the financial transaction made during an accounting period and thus it disclose the correct account of profit or loss and exhibits the true financial position of the business so we can say that it define the true and fair view of profit and loss account also and balance sheet also so this is what my dear friends that we defined that accrual base a last base that is a hybrid base or mixed base under this system of accounting revenues and assets are recorded on the cash basis whereas expenses and liabilities are recorded on accrual basis so there is a mixed base that is including the cash as well as the accrual base and this is the most conservative or we can say the conservative system of the ascertaining income because the income received in cash only in recognized where all possible expenses pertaining to the period whether the paid or not are taken into the accounts and thus it has the basic characteristic of both methods that is a cash as well as an accrual so this is what my dear friend these are the different or we can say the three bases of accounting over there so what my dear friends the base the base is also the important in accounts as well as to defining the accounting is also important in a accounting and after dealing with this what we learn from this particular unit that in this unit we have studied that the accounting is not merely a calculating of the debit or credit or narration of profit and loss of the organization it is seen that the accounting is a procedure of what recording classifying summarizing analyze and interpreting the financial transaction as per the communication which results to a certain interested person and the process of recording financial transaction in the books of account is called as a what my dear friends bookkeeping and such transaction will be included sale purchase purchase return sale return income and the payment of the individual and organization and it is studied that in any transaction account may fall in a several group, group with a certain rules like in a personal account where the debit the receiver and credit the giver in a real account what uh, debit the comes in credit what goes out in a nominal account debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains so what my dear friends this is all about that today's session and this is what about that this particular unit so let's summarize quickly what we studied in this particular unit that first we defined that origin and the growth of accounting then my dear friend we defined that introduction of accounting then the accounting activities are there that is a recording classifying summarizing preparing into the final accounts over there then definition of accounting where we define the accounting system in two ways that is on the report and the entry system or entry screens over there then after defining that the definition the functions of accountings are there also then defining the different functions we define the 
users of accounting in the users of accounting what we define that the financial accounting as well as the managerial accounting for financial accounting the external users are the users and for managerial uh, accounting the internal users are the main users over there so ultimately in a synchronized manner in a simple manner we can say that there are the two types of user first is internal and second is external users after the defining that users then in today's session what we define my dear friends the bookkeeping system then the double entry system then defining the different types of accounts that is a personal account nominal account and real account in real account there are another two aspects over there or we can say the two accounts over there that is a tangible real account and intangible real account then after defining this three accounts we have the golden rule of the three accounts of de defining the debit and credit rule or we can say the rule of debit and credit over there yes or no my dear friends so and then after we define the basics of account or we can say the base of that account that basis of the accounts in a three way there is a cash basis accrual basis and hybrid basis or we can say the cash basis accrual or mercantile basis and hybrid or mixed basis so this is what we learn in this particular unit so after you deal with this particular unit you learn this unit in a in an efficient manner you you watch that these videos in a efficient manner at that point of time my dear friends you have an a duty to recognize this particular unit or refining or the uh, or we can say to, to evaluate yourself with this three aspect first aspect is my dear friends you have to deal with what in a long question for the, for a writing a long question then for a writing a short question and then for a writing an mcq system my dear friends so after deal with that let's uh, do the long questions over there the first long question is that write a detail not on a bookkeeping then discuss the basics of or we can say the basis of accounting there are the th three bases my dear friends the cash base the accrual base and third is my dear friend hybrid base then in a short question my dear friends define the cash base with illustration you have to put an illustration then my dear friends in a different types of account and along with this different types of account you have to define the different rules of debit and credit for this three types of accounts also are there okay my dear friends then move to the multiple choice question the first multiple choice question is that the personal account shows the transaction with what my dear friend customers suppliers or money lenders so answer is this three all of the above then second question is my dear friend what is correct by the following first debit is made with the receiver in a personal account second is credit is given to giver in a real account and third is debit goes out in a nominal nor normal or we can say the normal account or nominal account then the credit income and gains in a nominal account so kindly define it by yourself okay my dear friends here i i'll not give the answer you have to evaluate yourself by defining or by giving this correct answer is it clear my dear friends yes or no so let's uh, sum up this session with this aspect to evaluate yourself with this three aspect that is long question then second is a short question and then the multiple choice question and after evaluating that if you refer more on that then you may refer uh, this books also uh, by the defining by the different author and give the different aspects over the accountancy also so thank you very much for today's session hope you learn well the basics of accounting which is important for the managerial aspects also for the particular uh, management uh, program also and we can say the accounting is an important for the everyone who deal with day to day transactions and events in nature so hope you learn well have a great day thank you very much my dear friends Smart, yeah, yeah,